Hi friends, welcome to Naresh I Technologies. Today, let us discuss a concept called averages. Now, to solve the problems in averages, we have two different ways. One of the method to solve the problems in averages is by using a formula. The second method is without using a formula, a logical way. Now, first of all, what do you mean by average? According to the formula, average is equal to sum of observations by number of observations. Now, and these observations should be of similar type. So, average is sum of observations by number of observations or sum of observations will be equal to average into number of observations or number of observation is sum of observations by average. Now, using this formula, we can solve the problems. Now, let us start with a simple problem. In a class of 30 students, the average weight of the class is increased by 500 grams when a girl weighing 50 kgs is replaced by a boy. Find the weight of the boy. Now, how to solve this question? by using this formula. Now, let us see. Now, how many students are there in the class? We have 30 students in the class and the average weight of these 30 students is increased by 500 grams. So, first of all, we do not know what is the average weight of these 30 students. Now, coming back to the formula, number of observations multiplied by average should give us the sum of observations. Average multiplied by number of observations gives us sum of observations. Now, there are 30 students in the class. We do not know the average weight of these 30 students. Let us assume the average weight of these 30 students is x kilograms. So, x kilograms. So, what will be the total weight of these 30 students? 30 into x, 30x. Now, what happened? the average weight of the class is increased by 500 grams or I can say half kg when a girl weighing 50 kgs is replaced by a boy. It means a girl left the class. Now, I am subtracting one person whose weight is 50 kgs. So, now we have totally 29 members in the class and the total weight of these 29 members should be 30x minus 50. That is, this is the weight of the girl who quit. Now, who joined? A boy joined. So, once again, the total strength of the class will be 30 and the, if I assume the weight of this boy is some y kilograms, then the total weight of these 30 students should be 30x minus 50 plus y. Now, when this girl left and boy entered, now this is girl who quit and this is boy who entered. When girl quit and boy entered, this average weight is increased by 500 grams or I can say average weight is increased by half kg. So, when boy entered, the average weight of the class should be x plus half. Now, based upon the formula, the number of students multiplied by average should give us the total weight. Now, solving this, we get 30x plus 30 into half, 15 is equal to 30x minus 50 plus y. Now, you can clearly see you can cancel 30x and 30x. So, what is the value of y? y should be equal to 15 plus 50, 65 kgs. So, the weight of the boy who joined is 65 kgs. Now, if you clearly see here, by using the formula and solving this, we have to perform a lot of calculations. Now, this is a drawback of using the formula, where we need to perform lot of calculations. Then, how to tell the answer for this question in exactly 5 to 10 seconds without performing all these calculations? For that, we should not use the formula. We have to use a logical idea to answer this question. For that, first of all, we need to understand what is the meaning of average. So, first of all, let us take a small example and try to understand 
what is the meaning of average now let's take a small example let us suppose there is a person called a who has 20 rupees with him now b joined a now b has 40 rupees with him now what is the average money both a and b together have now if you look into this by using formula what will be the average money it should be 20 plus 40 60 by 2 that is 30 instead of doing all this that is we found 30 as average by using a formula sum of observations by number of observations 20 plus 60 by 2 which is 30 now without using that formula how to tell the average money with a and b a has 20 rupees b has 40 rupees now how many rupees b has more than a now b has 20 rupees more than a so first you take out that 20 then a has 20 if i take out 20 rupees from b b also has 20 and there is extra 20 now this extra 20 you divide equally among a and b then a will get 10 rupees b should get 10 rupees now you can clearly see the average money with a and b is 30 rupees so this is how we need to think what is average if you want to solve the problem without using a formula now let us extend this example now a and b have an average of 30 rupees suppose a third person c joined a and b with 30 rupees then what is the average money with a b and c a and b already have an average of 30 rupees if c joins with 30 rupees what is the average money with all a b and c definitely it should be 30 only 30 30 30 so the point here is if a new observation is same as the previous average average does not change now let us extend this example let us suppose a fourth person d joined a b and c with 38 rupees then what happens to the average now the average money with all a b and c is 30 rupees and d joined a b and c with 38 rupees then what is the average money with all four now we clearly see a has 30 b has 30 and c has 30 but d joined with 38 then what should be the average now d has 8 rupees more than the average money of a b and c that 8 rupees should be distributed equally among a b and c sorry that 8 rupees should be distributed equally among a b c and d if i distribute 8 rupees equally among a b c and d each one of them should be getting 2 rupees then a will have 32 b should have 32 c should have 32 and d also should have 32 so the average which is 30 is now 32 so what is the meaning of average very simple uniform distribution or equal distribution now the point here what we must know is when a and b had an average of 30 rupees and c joined with 30 average did not change when a b and c had an average of 30 rupees and d joined with 38 rupees the new average is 32 that is if a new observation is more than the previous average definitely average will increase now let us extend this suppose there is a person e who joined a b c and d with 27 rupees then what happens to the average obviously average should decrease now as we told average is nothing but uniform distribution now a b c d has 32 rupees each but e joined with only 27 rupees so definitely what should these four people do to become equal definitely they have to give money to e so that all will be equal now let's suppose each one of them have given 1 1 rupee that is totally 4 rupees to e after giving 4 rupees to e e will come to 31 and definitely a b 
C, D are also at 31 along with E. So, the new average is 31. So, the point here is if a new observation is less than the previous average, definitely average will decrease. So, once again recall if a new observation is same as the previous average, average does not change. If a new observation is more than the previous average, average increases. If a new observation is less than the previous average, average decreases. Now, this is an example where a new observation is added every time. Now, let us extend this example by replacing the observations. We know that A, B, C, D have an average of 32 rupees. Now, let us suppose A quit them. If A quits, A quits with how much money? Definitely A should quit with the money what A has. A has only 20 rupees, but the average money is 32, but his contribution here is only 20. So, when he quits, he will quit with only 20 rupees. Suppose I say A quit with 20 rupees and E joined them with 20 rupees, then what happens to the average? Definitely average will not change. So, the point here is if an observation is replaced by another observation equal in value, then average does not change. Suppose A quit with 20 and if E joins with 24, then what will happen to the average? Obviously, average should increase because A had only 20 rupees, E has 24 rupees, E has 4 rupees more than A. That 4 rupees should be once again distributed equally among all the 4, then each one of them will have 33. So, the point here is if an observation is replaced by another observation with a greater value, then average will increase. Suppose that value is less than 20, obviously average will decrease. Now, using this simple basic points, we can answer this question in a very simple way. Logically, now let us see how to answer this question in 5 to 10 seconds max. Now, coming back to the question, in a class of 30 students, the average weight of the class is increased by 500 grams when a girl weighing 50 kgs is replaced by a boy. Find the weight of the boy. Now, girl is replaced by boy and average increases. Now, when does this happen? Definitely, it happens only when the weight of the boy is more than the girl. If suppose girl's weight is 50 kgs and girl is replaced by boy, if boy's weight is also 50 kgs, then obviously average weight should not change. But clearly, it is mentioned in the question that average weight is increased by 500 grams or I say half kg. Definitely, the weight of the boy should be more than the girl. Now, how much more? depends upon the increased average. So, directly my answer will be like this. Weight of boy should be equal to weight of girl plus half into 30. That is when girl left and boy entered, everyone in the class should get half of kilogram extra. It is 50 plus 15. So, the weight of the boy should be 65 kilograms. Now, this is a simple method to answer this question. Now, let us take one more example. Now, let us take one more example in this chapter. The average age of a class of 23 students is 13 years. When the teacher's age is also included, then the average age of the class increases by one year find the age of the teacher. Now, in the previous example, we have seen that a girl is replaced by boy. That is, an observation is replaced by another observation. Now, in this example, you can see an observation is added. Along with 23 students, teachers, teacher is also added. Now, how to answer this question in a general way? Once again, the same formula, number of observations multiplied by average should give us sum of observations. Now, initially we have 
23 students in the class whose average age is 13 years. Then what will be the total age of these 23 students? 23 into 13, 13 threes, 39, 3 carry, 13 twos, 26 plus 3, 29. So, the total age of the 13 students is 299 years. Now, teacher is included. That means, now you have the total observations as 24. When teacher's age is also included, average age of the class increases by 1 year. That means, now the new average should be 14. Then what will be the total age of these 24 members along with teacher? 24 into 4. Now, 14 fours, 56. 14 twos, 28 plus 5, 33. So, the total age of 23 students is 299. The total age of 23 students along with teacher is 336. Then what is the age of the teacher? Obviously, it should be 336 minus 299. So, answer is 37 years. Now, this is the age of the teacher. Now, this is a general way to answer this question. But if you clearly see, there are a lot of calculations to be done. We need to multiply 23 into 13, 24 into 14 and so on. Now, here you can see the numbers are small. So, we can tell the answer quickly, maybe in 1 minute or 2 minutes after multiplying. Then how to tell the answer for this question in exactly 5 seconds using the same logical idea. Now, let us solve this problem by using a logical idea in 5 seconds. First of all, let us try to analyze this problem. The average age of a class of 23 students is 13 years. So, there are 23 students in the class whose average age is 13 years. So, think that every student's age is 13 years, 13, 13, 13 like that. All 23 students have an age of 13 years. Now, what happened? When the teacher's age is also included, then the average age of the class increases by one year. All 23 students who had 13 years, when teacher joins, everyone become 14. Clearly, it is given average age increases by 1 year. When only students are there, they had only 13 years. But when teacher joined, along with teacher, everyone becomes 14. So, what is the actual age of the teacher? Definitely, the actual age of the teacher will be, now how many years are left with the teacher? 14 plus. Now, students had initially 13 years, but when teacher joins, everyone has 14. Now, who gave them that one year? Obviously, teacher must have given that one year. For how many students? 23 students. So, the actual age of the teacher will be 14 plus 23. So, the actual age of the teacher will be 37 years. Now, you can clearly see how simple we can answer this question by using the logical idea. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe at Naresh IT.